So what we're going to attempt to do is make a bird feeder out of a bottle and a couple of spoons. The trick is get the spoons through there like that so the birds can perch on the spoons, cut some holes for the bird seed to fall into the spoons. Not too tough. Uh, we tried it experimentally on another bottle to see what size hole we should make and uh, hopefully that'll work for us. So uh, first you need a really sharp knife, okay? And uh, you might think that the spoon you should like cut a hole that's shaped like the end of the spoon, but I, uh, I decided that wasn't a good idea because I wanted to hold the spoon really uh, tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the spoon through basically just a straight cut and let the tension from the plastic hold the spoon in place. Um, so I like marking things before I do it. So the spoon's about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch wide. I'm gonna put this pretty close to the bottom. Yeah, that's really great. Can you see how nice and clear that mark is? All right, that wasn't sarcasm or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna take a nice straight cut. All right. And hopefully we can just force the spoon all the way through. Now the real trick is getting the spoon out the other side as I discovered when I did this the first time because in the first case you're pushing this in and the plastic kind of folds in. In the second you are trying to push the plastic out and it doesn't work as well. So I force it in with my finger a little bit. Yeah, got it. Ha! That worked so much better than the first time I did it. Okay, so one spoon. Hooray! So I'm going to do another spoon, somewhat artistically a little bit higher maybe, I don't know. happens to be a little bit thinner at the end, so it'll be easier just through there. Okay, now, here's the critical part. Um, we got a big bag of bird seed, and I had to figure out how big to make that hole so the bird seed didn't run continuously out onto the ground, but, you know, yet came out enough that the birds would, you know, come up and eat it. I figured out that about a half inch square is about right. That drops quite a lot of bird seed, um, so I might try to make it just a tiny bit smaller. But I will, well, you know what I should do, getting ahead of myself. At this point, we should put the bird seed in. Otherwise, all the bird seed will just run out while we're pouring it in there. So I'm going to have my son come up here and help me scoop bird seed into the, into the bottle. Just keep pouring. One thing I think it's going to help us here, one, as far as the bird seed running freely through the holes, is that this is uh, this bird seed's got like cracked corn and big chunks in it. Um, you'll want to make the hole a little bit smaller if all you have is tiny little bird seeds, but we've got big chunks of corn and other seeds and stuff like that in there. So the fact that it's bigger means it doesn't need a bigger hole. So keep it going, come on. Run film, we don't have time, let's go. Yeah, that's, uh, my wife just mentioned uh, these spoons, uh, since uh, they're gonna be basically just bird chirp, you know, or bird perches. The, um, we just got the cheapest ones we could find at, do at a dollar store. So I'm guessing they cost about a dollar for two of them. Okay, I think we're almost done here. And one more scoop. And bird seed and bolt cost less. Yeah, I guess the uh, person at the pet store said we could have uh, half as much uh, bird seed as that for like one dollar less or something like that. I don't know. It's 
So if you're going to be feeding birds all summer, go ahead and get a big bag and find some place to put it. All right, why is this not coming out here? There we go. All right. All right, so now we got this going now. So I started that cut and I'm going to cut vertically. Um, this is a uh, way easier if you get a really, really sharp knife, which is why I'm using a utility knife because the razor blade gets through the plastic. If you use something even, even like your typical steak knife, you're going to have to be jamming really hard on the side of the bottle to get it off and to, you know, poke through the side and that's, oh. I'm trying to get this piece of plastic out of here. We don't want the bird eating plastic. All right, so there's, okay, I'm going to try to cut myself here. There we go. Okay, do that. Okay, so um, be prepared. You're going to have beard seed all over the place, so I don't think there's any practical way to avoid that. Okay. All right, so I've uh, got some twine here. We're gonna hang it with the twine. So I'm just gonna drill a couple of holes in the top and we'll um, if you don't have yourself a drill, you could probably just tie the twine around the neck of the bottle, but I don't know. I'm an engineer, I have to over-engineer things, so. So, now here's a real trick. Make a knot first. Mm -hmm. uh, put it through first. Okay. Okay, so I got that through there. Tie it on the inside of the bottle so that the knot is hidden. That way it's all neat and cool, right? Okay. It's a really strong knot. On twine, a square knot should be plenty. Look at that. Yay! All right. And okay. ready to hang. All right, let's go hang it. All right. Oh. You'll want to put a hook. There we go. There. Yeah. Yay!